Hello and welcome to this Tech Target Search Virtual Desktop Instructional Video. In this video, we will set up an Azure Log Analytics workspace for Windows Virtual Desktop. We're going to do this by following the guide that Christian Brinkhoff of Microsoft has written. And um, the link to the guide is also in the blog attached to this uh, video. Uh, it's also handy to keep open the, the guide because there are some items in the guide that we need to copy into the log analytics environment. So let's get started. Now, first, what do you need? You need to have a uh, Azure environment in which uh, there is a WVD environment. And this WVD environment must have been created with Azure Resource Manager. So that's the new way of deploying uh, Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, so if you have created your environment with PowerShell, then you cannot use this Azure Log Analytics. Also, you need to be able to create a Log Analytic workspace and you need to have the following uh, user rights, which are monitoring contributor, Log Analytics contributor and security administrator. I am signed in as a uh, tenant and subscription owner, so I automatically have all the correct uh, rights. So uh, let's go and create our log analytics workspace. We do this by searching for log analytics workspaces and then click on add to create our new analytics workspace for our WVD monitoring. So make sure that you select the right uh, subscription and the right resource group and give your environment a name. I'm going to call it uh, WVD Tech uh, Target Monitor. My region is West Europe, so that's okay. I'm going to create it there. Just click Review and Create and then Create. So the uh, log analytics workspace will be created. This will go pretty fast. So it's done. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to enable diagnostic information from our Windows Virtual Desktop to this log analytics workspace. So how do we do this? Well, we go to Windows Virtual Desktop button. You can also search here for Windows Virtual Desktop and then click here. Now we're gonna go to our host pool that we want to monitor. So this is my tech target demo host pool. And I'm gonna enable uh, the diagnostic settings. And I'm gonna do that by going to monitoring, diagnostic settings. And here I'm gonna click on the plus sign at diagnostic settings. I'm gonna uh, choose all the things that I wanna log. So that are actually all the possible options that you can log. And then we're gonna uh, choose to send the log analytics to our logging uh, analytics workspace that we recently uh, created. So that's the new one. And we're gonna give this a name. So I'm gonna call it uh, Diag Host Pool Tech Target. And we're going to click on save. This will make sure that all the diagnostics of our uh, WVD host pool will be sent to the uh, Azure uh, Log Analytics workspace. So what we now have to do is make sure that our session host also uh, can send all the information to the workspace. What we need to do is install a monitoring agent and also connect it to the correct workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for monitor and here we will go down to virtual machines under insight and here you can see uh, all the virtual machines that are monitored at the moment that are zero and the virtual machines that are not monitored. So let's click on that one and here I can see my uh, WVD session host. It's called tech demo uh, zero and I can click on enable. In this next screen, we also gonna click on enable. And here we have to choose 
uh, our subscription, which contains our newly created log analytic workspace, and we have to select our workspace. So I'm going to select the WVD tech monitoring. And we're going to click on enable again. Well, this will now install a monitoring agent on the VM and link it to the correct uh, workspace. So this will take a couple of minutes. So as you can see, uh, the agent is installed and it's uh, now sending the correct information to the uh, log analytics uh, workspace. So what we now have to do is uh, configure the log analytics workspace to collect the correct data that we want and how often this data needs to be collected. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for uh, log analytics again, log analytics workspace, click on our workspace that we have created. So the WVD tech target monitor. And here we're going to go to um, the advanced settings. And we are going to click on data and then windows performance counter so it immediately already gives you a example of what you want to add uh, you can add these this is okay but these are uh, not enough we have to also add a couple more you can find all things that you need to add here so all the performance counters in the blog attached they are split up in two batches because you can only do 20 uh, performance counters save them at a time that's the only thing that this api supports so be careful with that and also changing the uh, sample interval you need to save this on uh, 60 seconds uh, you can only do that 20 at a time so i'm now uh, have entered the first batch I'm going to add the second batch and I'm also going to set the sample interval to 60. So I have entered in all the performance counters and set the sample interval to 60. So everything should be here now. So now we're going to configure our workbook. So go to the Azure monitoring. So let's search for monitor. And then here we have workbooks click a new and then click on the code symbol and then within the uh, manual that uh, microsoft has created there is a link to a github page in that github page you can uh, download a, a script i think it's a json file which you can then copy to here so let's uh, do this and let's paste it in and after that we can click apply now the work uh, the workbook is created for your wvd environment and you can click on done editing what we can do now is uh, select the right uh, subscription, select the right uh, workspace, so the WVD Tech Target Monitoring workspace, uh, and uh, select the right resource group, uh, the host pool. Now, this is already correct. And you can see that you can immediately uh, see the information uh, of uh, what application group there is, what workspaces, which host pool. There are even two inactive sessions at the moment, so I can see that. But what we're still missing is information from Azure Active Directory, from the heat map. So let's get that. What we're going to do is we're going to search for Azure Active Directory. And we're going to click on that. Oh, sorry, I forgot to save. So that's also a good thing. Save your workbook and give it a name. So let's do WVD uh, monitor. And let's uh, select our subscription and a resource group that we want to save this in. And I'm going to save it in uh, West Europe. Save. So that our, our workbook is now saved. We can go back to it. 
but let's make sure the data from Azure Active Directory comes in. So we're gonna search for Azure Active Directory. So in Azure Active Directory, we are going to go to monitoring and then diagnostic settings, and then click on add diagnostic settings. And we want to export the sign-in logs to our uh, newly created log analytics workspace. So the WVD uh, workspace. We need to give this a name. So sign in logs WVD. Uh, one thing is that you do need to have Azure uh, Premium 1 or Premium 2 Active Directory subscription. You can even start a free trial here to just check it out. And if we do that, then we also get a heat map. So after everything is configured and set up, we can now view our workbook. And in this workbook, we can now see uh, the information from our WVD environment. So at the overview, we can see that we have two application group, one workspace and one host pool. Here we see the average uh, session duration of a user. And uh, we can see the daily connections. So nine sessions have taken place today. A heat map from which place users are signing in. And the current status, which shows that there's one inactive session and one active session. So a total of two uh, sessions. If we then go to uh, session details, here we can see more about uh, the active users. So we see that there is uh, one active session on this host. We see uh, how often these users have signed in. So this is the top five active users. Well, I'm just using two test users. So you see two here. And the top five with a disconnected session. So you can see that uh, this machine had three disconnected sessions on it. And uh, that this machine had a total of four sessions. Another nice thing is seeing that which operating system your users use. So you can also even view if they are coming from, uh, in this case, Mac OS or what type of Windows OS. Here we see the session history. So how often was there a session? So here there were two active sessions and later there's one inactive session. And now there are one active session, one inactive session. If we then go to another uh, important thing to show is uh, the host performance. Here at the host performance, one thing that I think is really key performance indicator is this one, the processor utilization of the machine. So here you can see that this uh, host is now using 18% CPU. So you can probably indicate that, that the server is not too busy for the sessions that are on there. If we look down, we get even more details about uh, uh, the process in time, how much memory is consumed, and we also get the latencies. So especially this one, the session latencies are of course important. So here you can figure out which session is for which user and see the latency that's there. And this is of course important when a user uh, experience a bad user experience, so, so bad performance. It can also be that the client is on a bad network connection. And to figure that out, we always have to look at the round trip latency. So you can find this here. So this was the video on how to set up uh, your WVD monitoring with Azure Log Analytics. I hope that this will help you uh, monitor your WVD environment.